percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours Crypto. Let's get right into today's video. Sit back, relax, because this one's going to get you thinking and it's going to make you go, wow. Because a lot of people heard this but they don't really understand what Peter Thiel is saying. And that is why I always play it here and there because there's so much value in this little clip. And one of you guys pointed this out saying, you know, I've seen you play that video a couple times and it just, you know, I just understood what he means. Like, this is insane. Right. And we all have seen that, right? Like, I mean, th there's these mafias that have been created over the years and, you know, you want to work with other really smart people. Th there's these mafias that have been created over the years and, you know, you want to work with other really smart people. But before we get into it, I got to share some information. We have an individual in the community. Their ledger has been liquidated pretty much and their XRP was taken away. I'm not gonna get too much into detail. I'm, I've reached out to some individuals to get some help. Um, however, the number one mistake, in my opinion, always, 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 and this individual did this, was it was purchased from Amazon. And when you purchase it on Amazon, yes, Ledger is a trusted seller on Amazon, right? They do have that. Here are a couple of screenshots. But never, ever, ever use Amazon, in my opinion, Okay, always go to the website. And when I tell you this, listen, take it seriously. When this market starts going up, all these ledger wallets, all of them, they're all gonna be backed up. The demand is gonna be insane. And there's gonna be in interceptors. Interceptors meaning they try to get it before it gets to you, alter it, and then give it to you. And I'm telling you, they do a great job of it. There was a lot of that back in 2018 and also in 2020. It's just history always repeats itself, okay? Or it rhymes. But if you guys don't have any wallets, don't think, link in the description down below. You gotta have it. This is what I use, the Descent wallet. You get $129 off with my link in the description down below. Make sure you see the 24 hours crypto exclusive discount page. But if you don't have any hardware wallets, don't think, just buy it. You're gonna need it. You need it, period. That's why, you know, Donald Trump is even talking about, you know, self-custody. Everyone is going to get one. So get it before the herd comes and delays happen because delays are going to happen. So get in before they all come. Link in the description down below, but listen to this. Listen to what we got here, okay? So you've, you've seen me play this clip before. I'm going to play it in a moment. But let me tell you, this deserves all your attention. Because you gotta understand who Peter Thiel is, right? The mind behind PayPal, part of the PayPal mafia, close friends with Elon Musk, one of the most brilliant tech visionaries in Silicon Valley, you know, and he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. But the real question is, do you actually get what he's saying here? Tech stagnation is that when something does happen, we don't even know how to process it. So, you know, I think I think Bitcoin was a I mean, it was a big invention. We can debate whether it was good or bad, but it was a pretty big deal, and it was systematically underestimated for at least you know the first 10, 11 years. You know, you could you could trade it. It went up smoothly for 10, 11 years. It didn't get repriced all at once because we're in a world where nothing big ever happens, and um, and so we we have no way of processing it when something pretty big happens. The internet was pretty big in '99. Bitcoin was moderately big. The internet was really big. Bitcoin was moderately big. And I'd say um, passing the Turing test is really big. It's on the same scale as the internet. And I'd say um, passing the Turing test is really big. It's on the same scale as the internet. Because when Peter Thiel speaks, you know, about the future, you listen. This isn't just another billionaire, you know, saying stuff. This guy is giving you a glimpse into how the next decade is going to unfold. And you know, I've played other clips of other individuals saying like, it's going to be intense, you know, but this is different. 
Teal dives into the uh, this idea of tech stagnation, saying that we've reached a point where when something big actually happens, we barely know how to process it. And oh my goodness, like I, you know, like it's remarkable. Tech stagnation is that when something does happen, we don't even know how to process it. So and then he brings up Bitcoin, saying it was totally underestimated for over a decade. People couldn't see it for what it was. Then, okay, listen to this. Think about that. Bitcoin, which has completely revolutionized, in a way, the financial world, went undervalued for 10, 11 years because the world couldn't grasp how big it actually was. Thiel says, we're so used to nothing major happening that when something like Bitcoin hits, we don't even know how to react. So we could apply this to XRP and you see, it, but like you, you guys know the real value driver for XRP. So this is why this is going to be 10 times more epic, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like, like Peter, tell them again, please. Just listen carefully tech stagnation is that when something does happen we don't even know how to process it so you know i think i think bitcoin was a I mean, it was a big invention we can debate whether it was good or bad but it was a pretty big deal and it was systematically underestimated for at least you know the first 10 11 years you know you could you could trade it it went up smoothly for 10 11 years it didn't get repriced all at once because we're in a world where nothing big ever happens and um, and so we we have no way of processing it when something pretty big happens. The internet was pretty big in 99. Bitcoin was moderately big. The internet was really big. Bitcoin was moderately big. But here's the bombshell, right? And this is what you need to pay attention. Teal compares Bitcoin and the internet in the late 90s. But what, what, but what really stands out here is when he says, passing the turning test will be as big as the internet, right? Passing the turning test will be as big as the internet. Let that sink in for a moment. And I'd say um, passing the Turing test is really big. It's on the same scale as the internet. Do you understand what he's saying? The turning test when AI finally becomes, you know, on a level of human intelligence will be on the same level as the internet, right? We're talking about something that's going to change everything. And again, you see they're all, oh my God, I'm getting shivers. It all connects perfectly. Like this is why Interledger was saying this in 2022. Like this is why they know it's gonna be an epic change. The scale of this is beyond what most people can even wrap their heads around, okay? Like, I don't know what you gotta do, but I mean, if this video right here doesn't just get you whole PM'd up, you know, get you to do a, you know, like these are just all facts, you know? That's what makes it 10 times more epic because these are all facts. And here's the deal, right? Teal is giving you a massive hint. We're on the edge of an explosion, an era where tech breakthroughs, you know, blockchain, AI, all converge. You have an AI that created a coin and is a multimillionaire and the market cap is $400 million. Yes, you heard that right. An AI created a coin and a Twitter account. All AI, like all AI, <laughs> it's crazy. I'll leave the link in the description down below. You guys can check it out. I'll find the article. But you know, this kind of wealth that's going to be created here is unimaginable. But it's only for those who are paying attention. Our videos get 10,000 on like just basic videos, right? Like you gotta understand not people watch the full video. They click it, maybe they leave. But like there's a core group of individuals, 10, 20, 40,000, that's it. Cause if you look at other YouTubers, their subscriber counts and they're all their views, it's the same thing, right? And majority of you guys watch other individuals too. Like, this is what I mean. It is just so small, okay? It's so small. <laughs> this is the moment to get ahead of the game uh, because this kind of opportunity doesn't come around often and it comes with patience. I love this. I love, people are gonna go to school for patience because they're gonna be mentally ill after they miss out on this or they sold too early, okay? 
But let me make this crystal clear. We're in the middle of this next revolution. You've got Peter Thiel, one of the smartest tech minds alive, basically telling you this is it. This is going to be as massive as the internet itself. Many have said that. And he, like even Brad Garlinghouse, like, you know, like they're all on the same wave. The, like I was around those days as well. And I think one of the things that really catalyzed the growth of kind of the internet 1.0 was usability. Yeah. You, you, you know, Mosaic came out as a first browser that evolved into Netscape that, you know, trying to use some of these technologies that predated the browser as we know it. I mean, people can't even think about the internet before a browser. Mm. People can't even think about the internet before a browser. Mm. And some people are like, you know, I see in the comments saying blah, 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 same thing, every, no, you are just such an idiot. I'm so sorry. Like, it's truly remarkable that you don't see what's happening and you're focused on the price. You know, it blows my mind. Like, this is going to be as way bigger than the internet. And if you play your cards right, you can be on the winning side of this. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about being a part of the shift that will change the world. Wealth, yes, but also freedom, freedom to live on your terms. But remember, the wealth comes with, remember, look what I said yesterday, with responsibility and discipline. You've got to be ready for when it comes. And hey, when, when we played this right and we've all kicking, you know, we're all kicking it back, somewhere tropical living, let's just say, uh, you know, I'll be glad I didn't sit this one out, you know, and every single individual that, you know, you guys are accumulating, 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 trust me, it's gonna pay off, it's gonna pay off. We're at infancy stages, forget everything. I always tell you this, if you ever overthink anything, right, the assets that we go over, 99% um, of you guys are all holding hardcore assets that are gonna be here, okay? But throw out all the fundamentals. I mean, it's kind of, you know, I shouldn't say that because you need the fundamentals, but just two trillion, you know? It's gonna go to 10, you're gonna see it. We're all gonna see it. It's gonna go to 20, we're all gonna see it. Like, we're all gonna be alive, stop it, tripping out. It's gonna go to 30, we're all gonna see it. And that, big move is about to happen in this next multi-year bull market that is pretty much the beginning of right now. And it's remarkable because this could last four years. And then when Trump's out of the office, they could ruin the world again, right? But again, we got four years to kick it back and just enjoy our patience that we have obtained in the knowledge. So with that being said, I'm gonna play the Peter Thiel video again because this was just strictly on Peter Thiel and the reason why I made this video is about, you know, what we covered Elon Musk, right? They're all in this, like these guys aren't, this is, it's, I know it sounds crazy, but when the movie comes out, you guys will be like, oh yeah, that's an epic movie. So if you guys haven't already, like I said, if you do not have the wallets, don't even think, but you could search for other ones, go for it by all means, but the decent wallet, is what I'm using, link in the description down below. $129 off, make sure you see the 24 hours crypto exclusive discount page and get it before delays occur. It's gonna happen 100%. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.